Uh, Gate 11, we are going on to higher order derivatives. Um, I'm not too sure what chapter this, oh, it's chapter 29, page 115, okay? So just to talk about some notation, as you guys have seen for the first derivative, if it's given to you in the f of x form, we say f dashed x. If it's given into the y form, to find the derivative, we just say dy dx. Now, we're going on to the higher order stuff now. For the second derivative, if they're given it to you in the f form, we say f double dashed to denote the second derivative. For if it's given in y, we say d squared y by dx squared. Okay, that shows the second derivative. For the third derivative, if it's given in the f form, we say f triple dashed x. If it's given in the y form, we say d cubed y by dx cubed. Then with the fourth derivative and higher, we change things around when it comes to the f part. So if it's given an f, we say f4. So that's the fourth derivative. Now, please note that this is not saying f to the power of 4. It's in the bracket, so that's saying the fourth derivative. Okay. If it was the fifth derivative, we would put a 5 in there. The 6, 6, and so on. If it's given in the y form, d to the 4y by dx to the 4. And that's just the notation how we do it. Remember grade 11, if they're given it to the, in the f form, we must put the derivative in the f form. If they're given it to us in the y form, we have to do it by dy dx. Okay, if we go through some examples here. Okay, so the first example, they are asking us to find d5y by dx5. In other words, they want us to find the fifth derivative if y is equal to x to the 4 minus 6x squared plus 9x minus 5. Okay, so because they've given it to us in the y form, I have to say dy dx for the first derivative. Now, whenever I take the derivative of something, just make sure that it's in a polynomial form, okay? And you'll see with examples later what I mean by that. Okay, so the first derivative, that's going to give us 4x cubed minus 12x plus 9. So there's our first derivative. Now we need to go to the second derivative. So we've got now d squared y by dx squared is equal to now in order to find the second derivative we just differentiate the first derivative so that will give us 12 x squared minus 12. find the third derivative d cubed y by dx cubed to find the third derivative we differentiate the second derivative that will give us 24 x and then that's just zero Find the fourth derivative. And we get 24. So one more because we need the fifth derivative. So d5y by dx5. And we get 0. Okay. Now what I want you to notice here, grade 11, is if we have a polynomial of degree 4, then the derivative just higher than that. So here we've got degree 4. So the derivative just higher than that is the fifth derivative. And you notice we'll get 0. So if we have a polynomial of degree 7 and we find the eighth derivative, we are expecting to get 0. Okay, and it carries on like that. Let's find, let's go on to the second example. So here they're asking us to find the third derivative if f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 16 root x. Now, this is what I was talking about if it's in a polynomial form or not. And I'm going to put polynomial in inverted commas. And I'll explain in a second why. Because I want to first change the third. Okay, so I'm not taking the derivative. f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 16x to the power of a half. And the reason why I do that is so I can differentiate it easier, okay? And yes, 
This is not a polynomial, and that's why I put it in inverted commas. I just want the powers to be like this, up at the top, in the numerator, and not in the denominator, and also not thirds. Now, we want to find the third derivative here. Now, we are not going to get a zero because this is not an int, uh, well, a natural number, okay? We can only get that situation when we take the derivative one over then the degree of the polynomial to be zero only if it is natural numbers your exponents okay here it's not a natural number so we're not going to get a zero let's find the first derivative f dash x is equal to here we get 6x squared minus 8x to the minus a half find the second derivative and we get 12x plus 4x to the minus 3 over 2. Then to find the third derivative, that's going to be 12 minus 6x to the minus 5 over 2. Okay. Now, just remember the grade 11s, we never leave exponents with a negative like this. So I must just take this one step further. So this is 12 minus 6 over x to the power of 5 over 2. And we can leave it just like that because I've made the exponent positive. Okay. And you can see why we would not get 0. Because I just can carry on decreasing, decreasing, decreasing this power here. And it just would not get to a situation like this where we left with no x's and then we take the derivative of a constant we get zero so we can carry on like this indefinitely so it'll only work with the polynomial remember polynomial if your exponents are natural numbers all right let's go into example c okay they're asking for the fifth derivative here if f of x is equal to 3x to the 4 minus x to the minus 1. So, because this is degree 4, it's not a polynomial though, guys, because of that over there. If we take the fifth derivative, we are not going to get 0. Why? Because that is not a natural number. Okay, so it's in a form, polynomial form, that I can differentiate. So we get f dashed x is equal to 12x to the 3 plus x to the minus 2. Find the second derivative. We get 36x squared minus 2x to the minus 3. Let's find the third derivative. And we get 72x plus 6x to the minus 4. Let's find the fourth derivative. We get 72 minus 24x to the minus 5. Okay, now we're ready to find the fifth derivative. And we get... That's going to give us 0. That's going to give us plus 120 x to the minus 6. We never leave things with negative exponents, so this will be 120 over x to the power of 6. Okay, let's do example D. So they want us to find the fourth derivative. And now guys, you see why we do things like this when we put the 4 in there? Because as we get to these higher order derivatives, putting this many dashes is a little bit silly. Okay, but this is just the way that they're asking it. If g of x is equal to 3x to the minus 3x minus 5 to the power of 3. Okay, we can foil this out three times, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to use the chain rule to find the first derivative. So g dashed of x equals 3. 3x minus 5 squared, and then the derivative of the inside is 3, and we get 9. 3x minus 5 squared. 
Let's find the second derivative. Okay, so that will give us 18. 3x minus 5 to the power of 1 times by 3. Okay, and we can simplify that and we get 54. 3x minus 5 to the power of 1. Okay, let's find the third derivative. And that will give us 54 multiplied by 3x minus, minus 5 to the power of 0 multiplied by 3. And I can simplify that and we get 162 times, that's just 1, so that's just 162. So let's find the fourth derivative. And we get 0. Now, because if I FOIL this out three times, I will only get natural numbers as my exponents. So we would definitely get here a degree 3, and we are asking for the fourth derivative, so we're expecting that to be 0. All right, grade 11s, and that is how you calculate your higher order derivatives.